Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault and you're watching Animal Logic. Psyduck might have had hydro pump, water gun, and an everlasting look of confusion, but the animal that it's based on is actually way cooler. Consider the platypus. It looks like a science experiment gone horribly wrong, like someone put a beaver and a duck in a transmogrification chamber. In fact, the first time scientists saw a platypus specimen, they thought it was a crude joke being played on them by someone who would stitch bits and pieces of dead animals together. It's not hard to see why. Platypuses are completely weird. They are monotremes, which means they are mammals that lay eggs. Yes, one of the defining features of us mammals is that we give live birth to our young. Even those crazy marsupials, the not quite mammals that we talked about a few weeks ago, give birth to live babies, not monotremes. The eggs come out of their cloaca, just like birds. And they have webbed feet and a bill, just like birds. And they walk on land with their legs on the side of their bodies, just like freaking reptiles. But they produce milk, have hair and neocortex in their brain, just like mammals. Platypuses are usually seen in the water. They dig elaborate burrows near the water's edge and forage aquatically, searching for insects, larvae, crayfish, whatever, along the bottom. But not like birds do. Oh no, that would be far too normal for the platypus. When they are underwater, they actually close their eyes and ears and use electrolocation to find food. This awesome superpower relies on electroreceptors in their bill to pick up electrical signals from their prey. Once they catch that prey, they hold it in their cheek pouches and grind it up using bits of gravel that they ingest. That's because, wait for it, they have no teeth. Of course they don't. But they also have no nipples. They're mammals and produce milk, but they have no nipples. Instead, they sort of sweat out their milk, which accumulates on the mother's abdomen so the babies can lick it up. Oh, we're not done yet. The females do the milk sweating thing, but the males have something special of their own. They have sharp spurs, like backward facing claws, on their hind feet that are, wait for it, venomous. Yes, if you have a male platypus, you are in for a world of hurt, literally. Their venom won't kill you, but the pain has been described as excruciating and can last for months. As an added bonus, the pain doesn't respond to morphine. What fun! So how did these bizarre animals evolve? Turns out that Australia was full of monotremes way back in the day. Platypus-like animals have been identified in the fossil record over 61 million years ago. Recently, a fossil was discovered in Australia revealing a giant platypus that was twice the size of our current platypus. So like, yay big, giant. When those upstart marsupials invaded Australia, they pushed the monotremes out. The ones that survived took to the water where marsupials couldn't go. And they are still there today in all their confusing glory. Oh, and by the way, the plural of platypus is platypuses, not platypi.